Yes, folks, the title is true. I broke my wife's leg. Anyway, we were putting this in the car, and it's full. It's not empty. Didn't take the drawers out. And I was able to get in the car, but I lifted from this leg right here like this, and it just snapped right off. And uh, the wood almost looks like cedar, but it's not. Very grainy wood. It's obviously not a hardwood. So I need to put it back on again and uh, make sure that it's not going to break again. Uh, and then try to hide the ugly scar. So let's get into it. <laughs> So while I'm out of town, I got to fix this thing. I'm going to take that, try to back that screw out. It may not come out very easily, but uh, this thing here is loose. And I think the only thing holding it on is this wooden dowel. I bet when they put that screw in, they split that because that's what it looks like to me. And a little splinter came off and I'm going to need to keep that and glue that in because along this line, it's going to leave a scar. Maybe I can fix it. Since I have almost no supplies, I had to get myself some glue. I had to get myself, not, these are not center punches, but these are punches to put in nails. So I'm going to use some finishing nails. I didn't know what size I need, so I got some multi different sizes. And I will draw, I will drill holes in various locations to get them through without breaking the wood. And I got a quarter inch, quarter inch uh, oak dowel. And I think I'm going to go ahead and drill them all the way through since the glue is going to do the holding. The nails is just going to hold the hold it together while the glue dries and hardens. And fortunately, I left town with these so I can complete this task. I think that a good solid piece of wood would really help support that. <laughs> Okay, I'm here with limited tools, so I'm hoping that the nail will just hold this in place. I've screwed, I've drilled holes through both pieces, so it's not going to break anything or separate anything. I'm going to come back later and run a dowel here once this top piece is on and run a dowel up through the bottom as well. That should go all the way in. Good and snug. I love having these three sizes. And that thing's already feeling good and tight. Okay, the nail is buried in. The nail will hold it in place while the glue does its thing. I do wish I had clamps, but I don't. And I think I can go with a nail on the bottom. Okay, this back side here can use a little bit. So I just drilled a hole right here. Nobody's ever gonna see that. Ah, it's feeling stronger already. I'll show you what I got. So right here on the bottom is a hidden nail, which is tucked in on this piece that never broke into the piece that broke. And then, and then I have another nail here, which is supporting the pull towards that direction. When I get this piece back on here, it's a good snug fit. Where they had the screw is a good place for dowel because the hole is already started and I won't have to guess. But I won't be able to do that till tomorrow or maybe the next day. I need to let this set up good and hard before I go drilling any holes. I'll come back with uh, the next glue up. Okay, it's day two. It's time to glue on the decorative piece and this leg is already feeling very strong. When I get the decorative piece on, it's going to be all that much more stronger because I'm going to glue all sides, which did not have before. 
So this part where they had uh, screwed in the uh, screw, which I think caused all the problems to begin with, it split it right there and they didn't pre-drill it. Uh, I'm going to put the dowel right there. I think that will be able to give it a lot of strength besides this dowel. Here's where every little piece becomes important because this, if I don't put this piece in here, then I'll have a huge air gap and it won't settle properly. And as you can see, it fits right in there perfectly. And then when I put this piece down like that, it will all glue together. And I'm going to put a nail uh, up through the back side here and then another nail over on this side to tack it down. So I will glue all these pieces in and two nails and then let it dry overnight. And once it's dry, then I can come back in here with a, uh, a dowel and I think this thing will be done. explain to you what I just did so the dowel is not cut yet but I did drill the hole holding this down making sure that I could get a clean path this is really very snug and uh, it made a clean cut and so where the screw was is now where the dowel will be so when I glue this thing together I'm going to have this dowel in here so I need to set this first and cut this off and then set this in I thought I would do it afterwards but I was a bit concerned about it splitting Okay, unfortunately I do not have anything to cut this with, so I need it down below because if you look at it from the front you don't want to see this dowel sticking out, so I'm going to cut it shorter than this and then tack it in with the glue. I'm hoping that I can cut this piece of wood with my snips. Okay, it's set. I'm just going to let that dry for 24 hours. I got my wooden dowel in here, a uh, nail holding the leg on from yesterday, and then this nail holding this onto here, and then this nail putting pressure down that way. So as I push down on it, I don't see it move. So I think it's good and solid. We'll find out tomorrow when we set this thing up right. <laughs> well, there it is. There was a lot of anticipation and how well it would hold because this thing is heavy, but it's there and it looks like it's holding well. I just need some putty to try to hide the, the seam and I think it'll be good to go for many years to come. Another job well done by Mighty Mouse. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.